All right, thank you, Patrick. Time now is 532. The fentanyl crisis is a massive priority for the California State Assembly. A meeting this morning will introduce a new committee that's expected to tackle this crisis. News Channel 3's Crystal Jimenez is live in studio right now with more on this. Good morning, Crystal. Good morning, Angela. In just a few hours, we will be hearing from this new select committee. It will be the first hearing it holds, and as you mentioned, to address the fentanyl crisis, among other opioid issues. The committee consists of both Republican and Democrat representatives. Speaking to Assembly Member Wallace yesterday, he tells me this topic really has a bipartisan coalition because it's affecting different kinds of people. Too often you see uh, this drug being taken uh, unintentionally. So sellers are making it look like a different drug. Um, and you're seeing our youth take this, uh, this drug and they're, and they're overdosing and they're, and they're being poisoned to death. And so we really need to hold those folks accountable who are out there distributing this on our streets. So just how close to home does this issue hit? Well, based on an overdose dashboard on the Riverside County website, you can see in 2022 a huge chunk of overdoses were 25 to 44 year olds. Also a troubling number from 15 to 24 year olds. 505 deaths in total that year because of fentanyl. Back to 2023, the number of deaths is already over 60 people. Looking at the map, cities like Palm Springs, Palm Desert, Indio accounting for some of these deaths. This is something hitting close to home, and most of these deaths are unintentional, according to the county. One example of this was a story we heard recently of a Palm Desert woman accused of selling fentanyl to a man named Cameron Bridges. His family told us he took a pill for pain relief after a dental procedure, and it contained fentanyl. Just last night, the San Diego U.S. attorney reported over 4,000 pounds of fentanyl being seized within the last two months. This is a growing crisis across the border in California. We will learn more later on this morning of what's to come next from legislators uh, amid the crisis. So make sure you stay with us for that. In studio, Crystal Jimenez, News Channel 3. All right, Crystal, thank you. And News Channel 3 has gone in depth about the ongoing fentanyl crisis right here at home. You can watch Evening Anchor Karen Devine's most recent piece called Fatal Flaw right now on KESQ.com. Stay with News Channel 3 for the latest developments out of Sacramento.